Let's take a look at the resonance structures here for HNO3. This is nitric acid. So we'll start with a Lewis structure. This is a Lewis structure for HNO3, and it's a pretty good Lewis structure. Each atom has eight valence electrons around it, has an octet, and then the hydrogen that has two. So as we look at our Lewis structure here, there are actually a few more ways we could draw this. We have this double bond here, but we could put it either here or here, and those would be different structures. So let's move the double bond to this oxygen right here. So now the double bond, we had it here, now it's over here. And we call these equivalent resonance structures because instead of having a double bond, single bond, we have double bond, single bond. Really not a big difference, but it's an important difference. We'll talk about that in a minute. The other way we could do this is we could have, instead of a double bond here or over here, we could move it between this oxygen here with the hydrogen. Let's do that. So now we have a structure where the double bond is between the nitrogen and the oxygen, the oxygen, the one attached to the hydrogen. So these are three different resonance structures. We can tell which resonance structures are the most likely or favorable by looking at the formal charges. So if I calculate the formal charges on each one of these structures, here's what I get. So when we look at the formal charges, we want the formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. So in these two structures, we have a plus and a minus. And it makes sense the negative charge is on the more electronegative oxygen. Down here, though, we have the two positive charges, two negative charges, and one of the positive charges is on an oxygen, which is very electronegative. So this isn't a very likely or favorable Lewis structure. We might call this a minor resonance structure. These are the two major resonance structures for HNO3. We'll put this symbol here between them to show that they're resonance structures. And let's put one like this here, since we don't have a lot of space. Often you'll see brackets around these as well. I won't do that since we don't have much space. So these are our resonance structures, but the top two here, because the formal charges are most favorable or as close to zero as we can get, these are the two major resonance structures for HNO3. One last thing, understand that these aren't switching back and forth. What we're really ending up with is an average of all these. That would look something like this. So we end up with this average of those resonance structures. Really, it's the two major resonance structures that are the most weighted or the most favorable and important ones. And this is what we would expect to find in reality in the real world. This is Dr. B with the resonance structures for HNO3, nitric acid. Thanks for watching.